A Jewish professor, Dr. Mordecai Akeda, has taken it up to himself to bring the religious root of Israel-Palestine conflict. And this is very, very pathetic and funny how he was twisting and turning in uh, the messages that he was supposed to be preaching out there. to their mindset to replace Judaism and Christianity. This is why those Palestinians, when they go around in demonstrations, they carry these, uh, these clothes around their necks, which state that Al-Quds Lana, Jerusalem is ours. If we are to put Islam aside, even if we are to put Islam aside today, today, all of us will come to agreement that the Jews, you were not from Palestine. You guys were even slaves in Egypt for 400 years and you were taken in in Palestine as refugees. So the indigenous Palestines chose Islam, that's a religion. And the land which they are living on it today, that land belongs to them. And so even if you own the building, let's assume you own the building, that's Muslim Aqsa, you don't own the land. We've seen, we've seen in maps how small Israel was. And today we've seen how you've been able to push this Palestine uh, uh, until you've enlarged your lands. And you dare talk as if everything Israel is doing is, is, is danger to Muslims. Of course, you are killing the Muslims. You are killing their children. They are babies. You warmongers and killers all around. We know what you are doing. You've been killing babies and children for over 60 years now. Who doesn't know your evil and your crime that you've been doing? What criminals? Who does he even know? The Quran says in Quran 5 verse number 22 to 23, it says, Kolu ya Musa, in wa inna lan na dukulaha heta yakhruju minha fa in yakhruju minha fa inna dakhilun. They said, Moses, there are tyrannical people in it, we will not enter it until they leave it. If they leave it, we will be entering. So before you reach there, there were people living in Jerusalem. There were people living in Palestine. These people are Muslims today. And just as you are stiff-necked, just as, as evil as you are, just as you've been killing people, killing your prophets, killing innocent people from, the, from your own history in your Bible, today you are repeating your history by killing people, killing innocent people. And you don't want anybody to tell you the, the, the truth? Come on. Since when Jerusalem is theirs? Was there even one day in history when Jerusalem was the place of any caliph or emir or sultan or any... Arab or Muslim king who reigned from Jerusalem, not even one single day. On the opposite, the capital of Jund Palestine means the, the, the uh, district of Palestine since the Islamic occupation of 638 was the city of Ramla, 30 miles to the west from Jerusalem. So since when do they claim that Jerusalem should be the capital of the a, a Palestinian state which don't see it. Okay, so uh, Dr. Mordecai has asked a question and uh, before his question he, he brought some banner that uh, the people of Palestine were using this. Don't forget, these people of Palestine are indigenous of the land and they said Jerusalem is theirs. This is talking about um, this is talking about tribal. You understand? Because the land belongs to them. You guys were refugees. You only went there. They gave you a place to stay. And you got a place to stay. And today you are killing people who saved your lives. And so they said Jerusalem is theirs. And then this guy twisted the history and then said, um, uh, was there any time in history when the Muslim caliph was ruling Jerusalem? At what point did Muslims rule Jerusalem? Now, the Palestines, let's deal with them as indigents. Let's put away religion. They own the land and they are the Muslims. So just because they are Muslims does not mean the land does not belong to them. This is a straw man's argument. Again, this guy is arguing in order to have um, sympathy 
from Christians. So the Christians will, re will rally against them as usual, even though they hate Islam. Now, when they say um, uh, make an ally with uh, uh, your friend to fight against your enemy, that's it. Now, let's read this history and see whether there was a point in time when Muslims caliphate were ruling Jerusalem or not. So this history wasn't written by Muslims. Historyofinformation.com, you can go and check over there. It says, Muslims occupied Jerusalem 451 years, for 451 years, from 638 until 1099. Byzantine Jerusalem was conquered by the Arab armies of Omar ibn al-Khattab in 68 CE. Among the first Muslims, it was referred to Madin, Madinat Beit al Maqdas, the city of the temple. A name restricted to the Temple Mount. The rest of the city was called Il Ilia, ref uh, reflecting the Roman name given the city following the destruction of 70 CE, Elia Capitolina. So, if these Jews would have been honest, it was the Christian crus Crusaders who were mostly the Roman that fought the Jews and then destroy their, their history. But over here, he is trying to blame Muslims and making ally with his enemy who fought them around 70 CE and destroyed Jerusalem, which is called the Siege of Jerusalem. Why would you leave them aside and then come and attack Muslims for no reason? Again, let's continue. The, um, later, the Temple Mount became known as Al Haram al Sharif, the noble sanctuary, while the city around it became known as Beit al Maqdis, and later still Al Qudus al Sharif, the holy, uh, the holy, the holy noble. Now, the Islamization of Jerusalem, he said, at a point in time, there is no point in time when Islam ever ruled Jerusalem. So, we are proving to him. The Islamization of Jerusalem began in the first year. 623 CE, when Muslims were instructed to face the city while performing their daily prostration and according to Muslim religious tradition, Muhammad's night journey and ascension to heaven took place after 13 years, the direction of the prayer was changed to Mecca. In 638 CE, the Islamic Caliphate extended its dominion to Jerusalem where the Arab conquers. Jews were allowed back into the city. It is the Muslims after conquering Jerusalem, the Muslims gave you your freedom to come back to the city. You see, human being, when this Roman chased you out of your city, the Muslims conquered the city and then allowed you to come back to your city. Look at you. You are lying and fabricating lies, preaching hate to the heart of the Jews when it is not so. Let's continue. So, the Rashidun Caliphate. Omar ibn al-Hattab signed a treaty with Christian Patriarch of Jerusalem, Sophronius. Sophronius, assuring him that Jerusalem Christian holy places and populations will be protected under Muslim rule. We will not destroy their churches, they are their holy places. We will protect them because in Quran 22, verse number 39 to 40 has been ordered that we should protect the churches, the synagogues, and not to destroy them. Now, let's continue. Christian Arab tradition records that when led to pray at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, one of the holiest cities for Christians, the Caliph Umar refused to pray in the church so that Muslims will not request conversion of the church to a mosque. Umar Ibn al-Hattab, he refused to pray in that church so that the Muslims will not uh, say, let's change the church into a mosque. Note, the Christians were having their holy temples over there already. We will see when the uh, Madil Aqsa was built, right now. Now, so let's continue. Now, Arab Christian tradition records that when led, when led to pray at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, one of the holiest Side for the Christian. The Caliph Umar refused to pray in that church so that the Muslim will not convert, will not request a conversion of the church to a mosque. He prayed outside the church where the mosque of Umar, Umar Ibn Hattab stands to this day. 
they built a mosque outside their church. They left their holy place and that mosque is still standing still. It is opposite the entrance to the church of the Holy Sepulchre. According to the Gaulic Bishop Akov, who lived in Jerusalem from 679 to 688, the mosque of Omar was a rectangular wooden structure built over ruins which could accommodate 3,000 worshippers. Note this. When the Arab armies under Omar went to Beit al Magdis in 637 CE, they set for the site of the Masjid al Aqsa. They had to set for that site. There was no place called Masjid al Aqsa that people go there to worship. It has been destroyed already. The Father's Mosque. That was mentioned in the Quran and the Hadith. According to the Islamic belief, contemporary Arabic and Hebrew sources say the site was full of rubbish. Allah Akbar. And that Arabs and Jews cleaned it. The Umayyad Caliphate Abdul Malik commissioned the construction of the shrine on the Temple Mount, now known as Dome of the Rock, in the late 7th century. How can a Muslim commission a place for, for you to come today and say it, belo it belongs to you? What kind of nonsensical argument is this? So it says the city of the city of the the uh, two of the cities most distinguished Arab citizens of the 10th century were Al Muqaddasi, the geographer, and Al Tamimi, the physician. Al Muqaddasi writes that Abdul Malik built the edifice on the Temple Mount in order to compete in grandeur with Jerusalem monument ch monumental churches. So you had your churches already. He had to build his own in order to uh, compete. Uh, in the form of uh, infrastructure, how beautiful the mosque is. And today you want to take it away from us. Over the next 400 years, Jerusalem prominence diminished as Arab powers in the region uh, jockeyed for control. Jerusalem was captured in 1073 by Seljuk Turkish commander Artis after Artis was killed. The Seljuk prince Tutush I granted the city to Artuk Bey, another Seljuk commander. After Artuk death in 1091, his sons Sukmen and El Ghazi governed the city up to 1098 when Fatimids recaptured the city. That's the when the Shia recaptured the city. So, this is the history. Masjid al Aqsa belongs to the Muslims. The Muslims built it, and the Muslims were Palestine indigents. These were Arabs over there. You understand? You had your own churches, you had your own sepulchres, and your own synagogues already. You turned that place into rubbish now. Nothing was there. It was the Muslim that cleaned that place and rebuilt it, inshallah. So this man is a liar. We have presented the history, the clear history for you. And it's not everything on social media that you see and then follow. My name is Uti Aidawa. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, Zana Company Limited, FFWO, in fact, who are good, who are copper, who are silver, who are gold, I will pass it with CSC, you know, when electroplating, when you may be a call, I guess Zana Company Limited, who are good, you pass it with the same OP, when you're in a silver chain, when you're in a golden chain, when you're in a golden ring. Then a person when you know Zana base you know any amount. Hey, in fact, what organizes sports? Open cup and open uh, medals. Be that two of Zana Company Limited. Bet to me, I have any amount. Any kind of jewelry at all. Zana Company. Any young way, Juma. Zana. I want him for. He has Zana. I want Nungwa. Nungwa behind Fidelity Bank. Eh, Raviko. I want. Any Zana. I want. Now, person one friend Zana. Eh, zero two four zero. 0240 481 and it's 0248 0248 442 44 93 0248 442 44 93 we are here we are going to be 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 we are Muhammad, say, Muhammad, I didn't, I
Buhudin Annabe Muhammad Muqattabu Annabe Muhammad Azizun Annabe Muhammad Fadilun Annabe Muhammad Mufadilun Annabe Muhammad 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 Annabe Muhammad Muhammad Annabe Rasulallahi Annabe